Good morning guys, Julie Q from Essential Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm coming to do a little uh, acrylic pour with you today. I'm just trying something with the boom gel stains on stones. It's a lovely lady um, that does the boom gel on stones. Um, I can't remember her name so I'm so sorry. I've just seen it on, on our um, Australian acrylic group on Facebook she put on that she did this on stone so I thought not that I could find anything nicer than these two so I thought I'll give this a go so I'm using the boom gel stain which is direct from the bottle I'm using and I have mixed up the boom gel in the uh, native violet which is a really dark purple with a little with a few drops of the cell booster so this is what goes on the top of these particular paints if you want to add to your kind of bloom effect so I'm just going to do a quick little test with them I'll try and find some better stones if they work out so I'm starting on the bottom with the uh, sterling white but this paint needs absolutely nothing added I will do one first I think nothing added at all um, it can, you can just use it straight out the bottle so I'm just putting the white on top like that I have a list of the suppliers the online supplier in Australia is the uh, Capriol Shabby Chic and there is uh, the boom gel site there which they will direct you to where you can get it if you're in the United States or uh, Canada or England oh that's a little bit runny so one was the banksia orange and one is the golden wattle yellow but that's very runny i'm not sure doesn't normally come like that at all so i'm not sure what's going on there and that's the metallic gold which i love so oh my goodness it's way i don't know what's going on there with that but i'm gonna just pour the little cell booster and I'm going to that all happened a bit quick <laughs> blow <laughs> I'm not sure why that's so runny I've never had I've never had the paint be that runny that is strange even sounds runny so I might have to ask about that particular one why is that because the others don't you can hear the difference they hardly shake they're a lot well that one is a bit runnier but I'm, I'm almost down the bottom of the there you go it's got the nice bloom effect anyway okay let's try another one I will just move that over there I probably should have put them up on something that allows the paint to I won't use that yellow if it's like that I will go to the oh, that's the one I used ring neck blue okay try again as you do but the they've actually stayed on the stone I thought that would all run off so I didn't really have to do much with that one, did I? But see, this is so much thicker. This And this is what I'm kind of used to it being. So I'll just ask about that yellow because I've never had it and it be like that. So there you go. Yep, it's almost like stringy. I will put... This is the Banksia Orange. I'll go the gold, go for gold. Oop, I suppose it'd help if I actually open the lid. 
and now this gorgeous ring neck blue I love this one probably a lot on there for such a little stone and I'll put my little boom booster which is the native violet so I'm gonna go along and then I'll get quick to it Wow, oh my goodness, those colours. Now I have to do something bigger in those colours, I love. I'm not sure if you can see real close with that. I put it on the box so I would get you a bit closer to it because I notice my camera's not picking up the detail. I don't know, I just don't think it's as good as it used to be. I'm not sure what's going on, so I will have to get that checked but you can see uh, stones are especially the one with the Mali blue in it that is gorgeous so I will just do another little one with the those colours I'll just move the box out of the way but my goodness those are gorgeous and I'll definitely look watch at the end and I'll add the photos of them there's obviously some area there that's missing on the stone but I just wanted to see if it would actually work on the stone so I'm just going to get my little this is just a very little cheap um, lazy Susan thing I have got my good Montmartre one but I just want it to sit flatter I'm not particularly after it to spin it I don't think I want to spin it I want to oh, give it a go hey maybe I just leave that there so that's just a piece of MDF um, these particular MDF sheets I get from the Capriol shabby sheet they cut all sorts of thicknesses all different shapes and sizes so that's the online one in Australia that you that I get that from um, so yes they have a look on the site they have all sorts of shapes and all sorts of things so if you want to just have a look at that I am going to I'm not sure whether I'll coat the bottom with yeah I suppose I'll do it with the white or should I just try I've got a bit of white here left I'm not sure if I'd put anything in there to, to use every last bit and try and use every um, every plastic container to remake paints up in I think it better if I take the lid off this one I'll do it quicker because it's a bigger area so I'm gonna have a go at those colors again because they're so nice on that stone I'll just spread that one with my uh, little spatula I'm just using the same paint the boom gel I mean you can use um, I'm not sure if the boom gel uh, the boom boom stain paints is much good with house paint I'm not sure about that but um, I know I've used just the Montmartre studio acrylics under it and it was fine so I'll do if I think I might do a swipe actually that would be something that I haven't done for a while with this the boom gel oh but those colors were so nice oh my goodness decisions decisions all right I will go with the orange and I will go with the Mali blue Mali ring neck blue this is gorgeous color and I will go with the gold that's gorgeous too I might 
try two things here. See how we go. Well, I think I will swipe them with a spatula. See how we go. All right. Which one? This one. I'll try this one. This is just um, paint, paint scraper. So I'll just try just giving a swipe with the paint scraper. Oh, look at those colours. Wowzers. Wow. That looks good. Didn't have to do anything to that to get those gorgeous lacing up in that. find that when you're swiping this you do have to have a little bit more oh put my finger in it you do have to have a little bit more pressure than if I was swiping just with my soft plastic file divider because this paint is a lot thicker normally I'm getting some gorgeous looks on my wow where's this where's this look at that Yes, it's a pre-made paint that's specially made for several things, not only uh, the bloom effect and getting lacing, but also you can rub this uh, stain on timber furniture. You can tie dye. And yet to do, I have rubbed it on furniture. Oh, look at that, wow minimal effort absolutely no effort to that and it's give a gorgeous result like that not going to do absolutely nothing to that because when that's fully dry if i go over that with the um resin that will just look stunning it'd be really nice as a name plate or something on or just to um put a drill hole in it and hang it up as a wall hanging but that is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'll give you some close-ups on the shots afterwards, but it's really lovely. So that's minimal effort with the boom gel, the boom gel stain, gorgeous, gorgeous. And my stones, I am, oh, I don't want to touch them with my fingers yet. So I'll take off the paint, but my stones are gorgeous. So I will take photos and they'll be on the end of this video with the dry results of my little stone and now I need to go searching for nice big boulders because they would look nice in the garden just something different just something different okay guys that was a quick one but I thought I would just run you through that um, to see what you what more you can do with the boom gel very simple you don't have to think about it and get lots of toxic different ingredients or anything so all in one um one paint bottle and it's available worldwide so there you go so until next time thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate your lovely comments let me know what you think about the boom gel paints and if you've had a go with them <coughs> excuse me still got this cough um but it's not it's not the dreaded virus thank you guys for subscribing if you haven't done so please do so i appreciate it and it costs you absolutely nothing thank you guys so until next time bye for now